Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Review. Today I'm gonna try this pizza tastes better in a, I'm assuming it's Bowza, because Bao, B-A-O is, is pronounced Bao. Um, so Bowza, um, these are like Bao buns. Um, so this one is the Italian sausage, so it's not your traditional flavors. It's mozzarella, Italian sausage, bell peppers, and onion with rich tomato sauce stuffed inside a soft bun of doughy goodness. Mm, sounds wonderful. 6.5 ounces, 184 grams. These are frozen. There are two of them in the package. We bought these at Meyer. They were $4.99, and they still have these at Meyer. They may sell them at other places. I, I don't know. I've just seen them at Meyer, but I really haven't looked for them anywhere else, to be honest with you. So each bun is 92 grams. It's 210 calories, or you can eat both of them for 420, and there's the info for you. So we're steamed to perfection. So you can do this a couple different ways. You can pan fry them, which is gonna make like a crispy bottom. You can deep fry them, which is gonna make the whole thing kind of crispy. You can toast it in a toaster oven, I'm assuming. Um, Pre-steam first, like in the microwave, and then do the oven, huh. or toaster oven, okay. Pre-steam, pre, -steam, pre so all these you're gonna pre-steam in the microwave and then um, and then do these other ways. We're only gonna do the microwave, but you can do it these other ways in addition to that. So in the microwave, it gives you a soft, fluff, fluffy texture. We're gonna microwave high until the bag is fully puffed up. One bowza is 60 seconds or two for 120 seconds. Um, do max two at a time. Uh, microwave will steam your bag. Do not defrost. Do not open bag before microwaving. Good to know. I'm saying good to know, Not they didn't say that. So 60 seconds each, basically. Okay, there's the bag. And like I said, you can't see inside there, but I can kind of feel it's got a flat bottom here. Oh, there you go. You can see it there. Let's see what it looks like. So I'm gonna throw this, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna do one for right now. We'll see what it turns out like. And then if I want to eat the other one, I can always heat it up after I eat this one. So I'll be right back once this comes out of the microwave. All right, so here it is out of the microwave, just a bag. <laughs> I haven't done anything to it. Uh, let's see, I do have a knife over here. I'm gonna cut it in half so you can see what it looks like. Might need the knife to cut the bag open. Yep. It did leak a little bit though. Where'd that come out of? Probably the end, so this side's probably open. Yeah. So if they weren't open, if the end wasn't open, I would have had to have cut it, but. It's a tough plastic bag, I can tell you that much. Not quite mylar, but it's a pretty tough little bag. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on the plastic. I'm being careful, by the way. I'm not gonna stab myself. All right, I'm gonna leave it on the plastic because I want to be able to cut it and let you see what it looks like. Plus, I think it would stick to this paper plate if I were to put it on the paper plate by itself. So, let me see. Let's see how full they are. Very soft texture. You can see how kind of almost almost rubbery but not quite. It's almost like a, kind of like a bagel kind of texture or soft pretzel. Okay, there's the filling. Very um, thick, like dough on the top. I mean, lots of dough on the top and then you get some filling in the, in the middle. So I'm gonna let this cool off because it's really hot. There's the other side, by the way. Still a lot of bread though. Uh, but I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit and then, uh, then we'll try it out. So I'll be right back. And hey, while I'm letting this cool off, I wanna tell you about um, three other ones that I've tried before. Um, just in case you didn't know, I actually, we also have another channel where uh, me and Tammy, my wife, uh, we do food reviews and she does grocery hauls and vlogs every week and all kinds of different stuff. So we do food reviews a lot on there. The company actually sent us three of these. The pepperoni, the margarita, and the cheese spinach, ver the flavors of these, the exact same thing, except they were just different flavors. Um, that was us both trying them. So me and her both tried these out and you can just go watch the, you can go search for them on that channel. Um, it's Tammy Dunn on YouTube, T-A-M-I, Dunn, D-U-N-N, -N, um, on YouTube and she's, we've got tons of videos, but you'll have to search for that one uh, if you want the Bowza uh, um, brand to see what they taste like. So if you're curious, you can go search those out. Um, and if I, if I think about it, if she thinks about it, Maybe she can put a link at the bottom just so you'll have it. I don't know if she'll remember or not. So anyway, here we go. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna get this side that's kind of split, but it's got plenty of tomato sauce on this side. Mm. Very hot. Very, very like heat hot. Um, I tell you what, I really get the tomato flavor, of course. 
it says they're Italian sausage, but the Italian sausage almost has a pepperoni kind of flavor to it. The, uh, but the sauce was super hot. So you may want to cut these into even smaller squares before, or triangles or whatever before you eat it because it's going to be pretty hot, the filling will be. Now the sausage has a really nice flavor to it. It's got a, a nice spice to it. It's not, it's not so spicy that it like burns. It's not that kind of spice. It's just a nice seasoning. Um, it's not burning in my mouth, spicy. Um, you really get the peppers and onions. I really like that flavor. I'm gonna try a bite of just the bao bun. It has the texture of like a, an underdone roll, like a, like a dinner roll that's risen and you baked it a little bit but you pulled it out of the oven a little bit too early. It's got that really soft kind of chewy texture. It's not bad. I, I, if I were to do these and I ate them like just normally uh, for dinner, I would probably do the steam and then put it in the oven for a little bit or a toaster oven just to crisp up the outside a little bit. I know that's not the traditional way but uh, they're very doughy, especially a thick part at the top. You know, overall these are okay. The, um, I do get the peppers, I get the onions, I get the Italian sausage, um, more when I eat it by itself than when I'm eating it all together. When you eat it all together, it kind of gets lost in all the other stuff, but uh, it's still there, it's just not as strong. The sauce is okay. Um, the bun itself is, like I said, very thick at the top and very doughy. Um, not bad, it's just, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. I don't love it, but I, I mean, I don't hate it either. I don't dislike it. It's a little above average because I really do think you get quite a bit of flavor from it. And the textures are, are nice if you like that little bit of a doughy or kind of texture. Um, and knowing that you can put them in the oven or a toaster oven if you're at home um, to crisp them up a little bit, then that adds a little bit, adds another half. So, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five. A little bit above average. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.